you know, looking for a few things. Looking for number one IQ. Looking for guys that have a hockey IQ, guys that can think the game, guys that I can work with and teach. Uh, and then looking for guys that have some grit. You know, guys. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Cam, and this is Cam's Corner. Well, I'm standing inside the Worcester Railers locker room right here at the DCU Center, and as you can see behind me, the stalls are empty. And normally during this time of the year, guys are starting to move back to Worcester training camp. Maybe happening right now, we're just about a week away, but obviously things totally different this year. It hasn't stopped Railers general manager and head coach David Cuniff from getting out there recruiting players and signing players. And Coach Cuniff really excited about the guys that he has signed so far right now. 17 total players have been announced, 14 forwards and three defensemen. I had a chance to catch up with Coach Cuniff last week to ask him about the Railers roster so far. What do you say we take a look? Hello Railers fans, great to talk with all of you. Cam McGuire standing along Railers general manager and head coach David Cuniff. Well coach, great to see you. Uh, it's been a while and, and talking a little bit here today about a little roster update with the Railers and since we last spoke with you we've had a couple uh, big signings and last week it was veteran forward Mason Baptista and now you go down the list uh, for the Railers right now, 17 players officially under contract, 14 forwards, and a lot of rookies, nine rookies on the roster. Kind of talk about some of the youth that uh, so far have made up the roster here. Well, you know, uh, with free agency, just looking for, uh, you know, looking for a few things. Looking for number one IQ, looking for guys that have a hockey IQ, guys that can think the game, guys that I can work with and teach. Uh, and then looking for guys that have some grit, you know, guys that play on the inside, play the right way. All these guys have skill but they all have an IQ and they all have grit. So I think we're going to uh, be in a pretty good position to play the way I want to play, which is over pucks, puck possession game, think the game a little bit, um, you know, obviously play hard. That's the way, that's the way I like to do it. But, but they all have skills, so we should be, when we have possession, we should be able to be a skilled team that makes plays and a attacks the net. Well, what have things been like for you over the uh, last couple of weeks, over the last couple of months? I know you've been busy with the, the general manager cap on, but it's, it's crazy to think right now in a, a normal year we'd be in training camp, but how have things kind of changed for you uh, so far in the last couple of weeks, last couple of months? It's been good for me, like the, the little bit of a delay because I feel like my first time through it as the GM. Um, it's given me a second or two to catch up with guys and with the free agency with um, you know what it was at the protected list in june and the 16th all that stuff just gave me some time to digest and figure out exactly what we were trying to do with the roster uh the number one thing is i'm trying to be fair to everybody i want to you know the fans and the ownership we, we they deserve a winning team so i'm doing everything i can to get quality people um you know that's the number one thing because we're trying to win as a group. We're not trying to win as individuals. So it's it's going to be a workman team mentality. Well, I think guys are going to care about the the logo on the front, not the name on the back, uh, the old cliche. But it, it it works for a reason. You look what the Islanders did. The Islanders had a good playoff run, and it was you know wasn't about individuals. It was about four lines going over, you know eight nine D going over and uh, getting the job done. And and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get guys that are going to play for each other, play hard for each other, to care about the logo in the front of the jersey that are proud to wear it and then they compete really hard so uh, you ask about the last few months I've been building relationships with general uh, with uh, with agents to uh, to recruit these free agents and guys that have been in the East Coast League guys that are in college and major junior just trying to get the the highest starting point you know like um, in the coast just trying in American League wherever I am hopefully in the NHL someday I want the highest starting point I'm gonna coach these guys and get them better I'm gonna add to their development hopefully that's my job um, but the, the it's easiest to do it with the best players on the ice absolutely and there's certainly gonna be no shortage of, of compete and depth and with uh, these nine rookies signed a lot of big point producers from college whether it's Joe Kulsher from AIC Jacob Coleman from Robert Morris Jacob Hayhurst from Michigan but let's look at the two veterans so far that are signed so far with the Railers Mason Baptista is getting ready for his sixth professional season a lot of experience 
in the ECHL, a guy we haven't talked about yet, and then obviously Jordan Smotherman, and everyone knows his resume with his NHL experience and his AHL experience. But those two guys, I'm sure you're going to lean heavily on with such a young core. Yeah, yeah, I, I really feel like they're going to be an extension of the coaching staff. I think I've talked to both of them quite a bit over the summer, explained exactly what it was expected of them. Uh, I think both of them at their age they're at, they're, uh, they want to win. They want to play, number one. Uh, but that being said, they know they're a little bit you know, longer in the tooth, basically. And, uh, the, and, and both of them, they have that in their DNA. They, they're guys that have been through it themselves. They were younger guys. They were brought along and helped along the process. And uh, both of them, like I said, they have it in their DNA. They want to help guys. They want to bring guys along. They want to give pointers to the guys to just speed up the process. That's what my job is as a coach and, and, the, and the veterans on the team. That it, 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 it honestly, it means more coming from the, a teammate than it means from, coming from a coach. And they want to play harder for that teammate than they do for me. It's just the way it is. And I appreciate that. So uh, I, I, I worked really hard getting the right character guys, and I think we did a good job of it. I think Jordan Smiley, both of them, it's funny because they different career path. One went major junior. Uh, Mason, you know, he, he was like me, Division three, uh, earned, earned his way onto an East Coast C team, has worked really hard to create a, a niche for himself and uh, create a, a nice little career for himself. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with uh, to be able to add both of those guys. And I'm going to lean on them a lot. You know, our veteran group, you know, again, I, I there's, there's high expectations for them. Too much is given, much is expected. And both these guys, uh, we're going to really lean on a lot because, it, you know, the, it, at each level, you just, in, in the NHL, there's a million guys. There's, right. a, mil there's a million yeah. staff members. East, American League less, East Coast League even less. So we all have to wear a lot of hats, and that uh, includes Jordan and, Bull and, and Mason. Absolutely. Well, a lot of uh, old faces coming back, some new faces as well. We'll have a lot more information over the next couple of weeks, so you can head to RailersHC.com for all of that. Coach, great catching up, and look forward to chatting more down the road here. Yeah, it's great to see you again. Well, obviously, as you heard right there, Coach Conniff really happy and really excited about the pieces that he has right now with the Railers roster. If you're still not a Worcester Railers member, you can do so today any day for just one dollar down give us a call at 508-365-1750 or head to railershc.com for all the information look forward to talking with you each week as we continue on and hopefully the season will start sooner rather than later until next tuesday i'm cam and this is cam's corner